What's up, you guys? Captain Granite back after a long, 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 long hiatus. Ooh, a hippie van. I want candy. I don't think he was giving away candy. So, where have I been? Well, let Captain Granite fill everyone in. I've told a select few people. Um, I got the bike last June, well, in June. I got the bike in June. This bike, 24 miles in to this new adventure, and I dropped it drop the bike 24 miles in I uh, came to basically my first red light after I just filled it up and granted I'm not, I'm not used to the clutch at this point I, I let it out way too quick and I stalled it I didn't get my foot down in time it was very slow and I have crash bars on this and it caught it but I tried saving it. Um, I was way off balance. I was basically almost on the ground from it just tipping over. And I threw my right arm at it to try to brace it and, you know, try to not have it tip over. And, uh, well, an 800 pound motorcycle on one arm, everything in my shoulder popped. Um, all the way up from my bicep to my shoulder, basically. Cracks, pops, snaps, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, well, me being stubborn and stupid, I tried letting it go. I just was like, you know what, I'm fine. I don't need to go to the doctor. I don't need to really do anything. Um, which obviously wasn't the case because, uh, as time went on, my shoulders started to hurt more, and uh, I went to go bring this bike down for its first service, and I started losing feeling in my right arm. It freaked me out a little bit. I mean, I kept shaking it, you know. I mean, I'm not stretched out. It's... You know, it's a very comfortable arm position for me. I shouldn't lose feeling in my arm. And then the next day, uh, I'm in a new office, so we're setting up furniture and all this, and I'm, tw you know, I'm tweaking down on setting up all these shelves and tables, and my arm starts to really freaking like kill. And it started happening again. You know, I started losing a little feeling. And I just ran a, a light, whatever. Um, so I was really, you know, feeling it. And my fiance, the little woman, could tell that I was pretty messed up. And she took me to the walk-in care center. And a hundred and some odd dollars later I find out I have after two months of dealing with this I have severe bursitis Bursi yeah bursitis or something like that I think it's called uh, on the muscle under um, my rotator cuff and it was severely inflamed it wasn't healing properly because well i wasn't laying at rest and i wasn't taking care of it and i'm stubborn and stupid so they put me on some steroids oh yeah some uh prednisone i believe it was called 
for 10 days and I asked him I'm like can I can I go to the gym no can I ride my motorcycle nope I'm like really I can't even ride my motorcycle I'm like you know I'm not stretched out you know I don't have ape hangers I'm you know and they go no you need to basically act as if your arm doesn't exist so I gave it the full 10 days no riding the motorcycle no doing anything so and it uh, it honestly feels good it's uh would I say it's a hundred percent I would say it's a good 90 and uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd say it's probably a good 90 percent what are you doing what are you doing just you know you're walking a fucking child and you stop in the middle of the road at parents of the year hopefully you know my shoulder continues to heal itself I'm uh, I'm really taking it easy and you know try not to that's pretty cool uh, trying to take it easy and not overexert it and you know not do more damage to it than what's already done so that's basically where I've been in the past like two weeks um, you know just trying to take it easy trying to uh, recover and heal and you know listen to all my other Mo Volger friends you know tell me I'm stupid if I touch the bike and <laughs> You know, it's good to have a good support system. You know, I can't express enough how much all the uh, the motovlogging community in itself, you know, especially the, the tight-knit group that I have, you know, supports each other and, you know, will help out. Um, you know, ouch, that car is uh, beat up. Um will help out with like you know self-esteem and crap like that you know not riding a bike gets you down you know especially if it's something you love and these guys just absolutely wonderful people and I couldn't ask for a better group you know what I want to do before before I log well can I even say before I log off here because you know, I still got a little ways to go before I get home I want to give out a spam card, like, legit. I haven't given a spam card on, t on yeah, on TV. I haven't given a spam card on TV yet. I haven't given a spam card on my channel yet. I mean, I've given them out, but I haven't gotten it on film. I need to find someone to give a spam card to.